what's going on guys welcome back to the channel back with another video hope you guys have been enjoying the last few uh 850 uploads on the outlander um if you haven't seen them already please go down below find them and uh check them out so you guys can get caught up to speed with what's going on right now but today we got an exciting one our sound bar for the uh outlander came in today um it's a soundstorm laboratories 18 inch sound bar now yes this is a cheaper model version sound bar whatever you guys want to call it but it actually got really really good reviews is why i went with it um now i know a lot of people gonna say oh you should have got a sound stream whatever uh or wet sound i'm sorry a wet sound sound bar guys I just do not find it feasible to buy to pay six hundred plus dollars for a sound bar for an ATV. I'm sorry, I just don't f find it worth it. Um, and I've heard some of them in person, and they're they sound good, but they're not loud. They're not that loud, to be honest. Um, and for me to pay six hundred bucks, six hundred plus dollars for something like that, I just don't find it feasible. So um, we picked this one up. Um, I think it was off of Amazon uh, for $199. I'm going to have to check that again. But I think it was $199. I will link it in the description below um, so you guys can check it out. But basically, we have our mounts that are going to go here, bolt here. Sound bar is going to go about here. And our light bar is going to go in the front right there. Um, we have our light bar right here just another Amazon part we actually went with the slim version instead of the actual full size light bar um, I felt like the, the full size light bar was gonna look a little weird and a little too big but so that's what we got right here so those are gonna stack together on these mounts that we have over here you guys can actually see I got everything set up to powder coat because if you notice these brackets are the wrong yellow. Um, I knew that when I ordered them, which is no big deal. This is the old Can-Am yellow, and this is the new Can-Am yellow. And you can see the difference in color. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and spray these gloss black, as you can see right here. Our buddies at Prismatic Powders sent us over some uh, gloss black. So we're gonna knock that out, gloss black, and uh, hopefully get this thrown on the bike. We're actually gonna ride today, so I need to hurry up and do this. So uh, let me load up the gun, prep these, and we're gonna get this stuff rocking and rolling. Um, before anyone says it, oh, you didn't strip those uh, brackets or blah, blah, blah. Guys, I tell people this all the time. I've been powder coated for a few years. I'm not a professional or anything but I've been doing powder coat for a few years now. If you have a brand new part that has not been dirty, has not gotten oil or dust, dirt, anything on it, you do not really have to strip it. All you need to do is actually score this, score the surface of this with like a, a tough Scotch-Brite pad, say like this one, go over it real good Scuff, scuff it up a little bit and clean it with some uh, alcohol or you know mineral spirits whatever you guys clean your parts with and uh, hang them and let them dry for a second let the alcohol dry and you can actually spray right over this right here over this coating it's just like doing a two stage powder coat guys it's the same exact thing um, nothing wrong with it durability is just exactly the same as if you would strip this just less time consuming so that's what we're gonna do i'm gonna go ahead and scuff these up real fast clean them and we're gonna spray them pop them in the oven and uh get them thrown on the bike so uh let me get all this set up and we'll get back with you
So we go ahead and um, get the sound bar unboxed while we have the brackets heating up. I'm really excited to uh, see what this thing sounds like. Of course the rain wants to ruin the video, but we're gonna hurry up and try to get this done. This is the speaker guys. It is a lot bigger than I thought it was. Um, and what I mean by big is like, it's thick guys. You can see my hand next to it. It's thick. It's not like a slim light bar or anything, but it does have two speakers and uh, two like tweeters, one on each side, um, big volume control and playback and all that up front you can actually plug this into the cigarette lighter 12 volt cigarette lighter on the front of the quad i may actually do that for today um so i don't have to run all these wires and stuff so you can power it like that you can also hardwire it with the 12 volt or you can hardwire it straight to the battery and you cut this off and you know do your wires but it comes with four brackets so you can mount it on like a bar, like a side-by-side -side or anything. It comes with all the hardware you need. It actually has a remote. And these are also brackets to mount it. So it's a lot bigger than I was expecting it, guys. This is basically how it's gonna sit up here, like so. And uh, I'm not sure if I like that. So I wanted the front to be pretty sleek. But uh, you can see here, that's pretty big. And where the mount is, it's gonna sit about like that. So I'm not 100% sure if I like that or not. I did go with the 18 inch because it was about the same width as the radiator. Didn't have it, it wouldn't be sticking out over this side or that side, as well as the light bar would fit perfectly uh, flush with the radiator. So I didn't want anything sticking out. So, uh, I'm not sure, I might go back to the drawing board or I may run this one. It doesn't look terrible from like this angle. I just don't know guys. Uh, let me know in the comments what you guys think. We may throw it on today just to see, but uh, we may end up going with something else. So let me know what you guys think once we get everything put on and you can actually see it. Our brackets are baking right now. Once we get those out, we'll actually start throwing this stuff on. This and the light bar. And uh, didn't take us too long, guys. So fingers crossed, this rain holds off for us, and we can finish knocking this out and go ride. So stay tuned. Yo, so we got the brackets out. They came out amazing. You can see that gloss black is pretty almost like paint right there. So uh, those came out good. I think I'm gonna actually try and mount the, uh, the sound bar and the light bar to the brackets first, and then go over and mount the whole entire bracket to the ATV. I think that might be a little easier. Plus it's raining right now, so I don't really wanna stand in the rain and try to put all that together. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. Plus, I might I think it may be a little easier being that these brackets like this on the bottom, I, I probably have to flip it upside down like this to actually put the screws in. So I think it may be easier to do like this before we put it on the on the bike. So that's what I'm about to do. I'll set you guys up on time lapse, and we're gonna go ahead and knock this out. And that's a wrap guys. We got brackets installed, light bar and sound bar all installed. Everything came out nice. Um, better than I thought it was going to after I took this out the box. I was kind of skeptical on how it looked, but it absolutely doesn't look bad at all. 
you can see here it's perfect it's the perfect size fits perfectly between the radiator it's not sticking out like i see a lot of uh a lot of bikes so uh i'm happy with it this mount is sturdy as could be uh, we got the light bar on the front mount it came out pretty good you can see there so i'm happy with it might do a little fine tuning a little tweaking with it later on but for now it's good um i may give me some little face plates powder cut them yellow to stick behind here so you can actually see the k m right there but uh yeah that gloss black powder matches perfectly with the gloss black paint and uh, i'm happy with it so that's gonna be a wrap guys hope you guys enjoyed all the links will be in the description if you have any questions comment down below let me know what you have and uh i'll help you guys out with as much as i possibly can but uh yeah i like it and i think it looks good i'm ready to hear it uh, so i'll probably do a clip of it at the end of this video so you guys can hear it with some uh uncopyrighted music and uh yeah, that's going to be it, guys. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Please go down below, hit the like button, subscribe, and also turn the notification bell if you guys haven't already. Continue to support the channel videos, uh, guys. We have a lot on the way. i just been swamped, uh, super busy, so I haven't been able to. But I promise you, videos are coming. So uh, you guys don't want to miss. Hope everyone has a great day. Peace.